Welcome to Discovery Kids Online. We are in the Old Testament learning all about the Israelites. So God rescued the Israelites from Egypt and led them to the promised land. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But they wouldn't enter the promised land. Oh, oh no. So they're going to wander in the wilderness for 40 years. Oh, oh man. man. And in our story today, they're going to run up against a really grumpy king. What? Oh, yeah, but don't worry. God is going to make sure they are blessed. Uh, Tracy, yeah. um, what does blessed mean? Oh, blessed means to bestow great favor. Uh, I, I still don't get it. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, okay, how about this? When we're blessed, wonderful and amazing things happen. Oh, I like that. Yeah. When God blesses us, he gives us his protection, forgiveness, and salvation. Wow. And in today's story, listen for that word, blessed. Let's talk about animals. Ooh, I love animals. I love animals. Oh, yeah. 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 So many different sounds. Check it out. Ooh. Ooh. Cats. Meow. Meow. Dogs bark. Meow. 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 And sheep bark. And pigs oink. And cows moo. Birds chirp. Chirp, 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 chirp. And frogs ribbit, 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 ribbit. ribbit Lions ribbit, ribbit. Roar. roar. And owls hoot. Ooh, ooh. And turkeys gobble. And roosters cockle-doo-doo. Donkeys bray. <laughs> Just to be clear, donkeys bray. They do not talk. No, no way. way. Well, unless God wants them to. The story of Balaam and Balak from the book of Numbers, chapters 22 through 24. The Israelites were traveling from one place to the next as God led them. Okay, follow Ooh, the pillar. Pillar, do you yeah. see follow it? The pillar, oh, yeah. follow, follow the pillar. Follow, follow the pillar. Follow. One day they were traveling through the land of Moab, but this made the king of Moab very nervous. I'm so nervous. This is King Balak of Moab. Have you seen all the Israelites? There's like millions of them and they're camped right beside of my kingdom. That's true, true. Oh, and there's so many, they're, oh, they're gonna eat up everything in sight. Oh, I could go to war. No, I, I can't go to war. There's so many of them, I will for sure lose. Oh, so King do? Balak didn't want that huge group of Israelites in his land, so he decided to do something about it. I've got an idea. King Balak sent a message to a fortune teller named Balaam. Now, a Balaam, he would tell people their futures. He would even bless or curse someone if you paid him enough money. He was known as the prophet for a prophet. Oh, curses and diseases for any reasons, pimple backaches and diseases. I got the cursings and the blessings just for you. And today only, Tuesdays, BOGO. Buy one, get one, 100% of the price for 100% satisfaction guarantee. So, the king of Moab... <laughs> sent a messenger to Balaam. Oh, thank you. <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. What's my king? <coughs> Take this to Balaam. Yes, my king. So the messenger traveled to deliver the king's message. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> I bring a message from King Balak. A people has come out of Egypt and are camping beside my kingdom. Now come and put a curse on them because they are too powerful for me to battle. And once you curse them, then I will be able to defeat them. <coughs> oh, of course, of course, of course. <coughs> Thanks. Hey, you know, I like you. Let me go back there, see if I can talk to the bosses, the big gods, and work out a deal for you. Can I get a bottle of water for you while you wait? That'd be great, I'll thanks. be right back. Now, Balaam would pray to false gods trying to earn his money. This time, however, the real god actually spoke to Balaam, and he had something to tell him. Balaam, you will not put a curse on those people because they are blessed by me! Oh, 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 no, take your money. I don't want to have any part of this. Go on, go, scoot, scoot, go. So Get out of here. the messenger returned to the king. Well, he won't do it. Uh, uh, what? Uh, you get back there and take him another message. Yes, my king. Okay, go. 
So the messenger went a second time to Balaam. Balaam, my king sends you another message. Do not let anything keep you from coming to me. I will reward you handsomely. Come and put a curse on these people. Look, even if your king gave me all the gold and all the silver in like his entire palace, I couldn't do it. God has told me not to. Are you sure King Balak will reward you? Greed, fear, greed, fear. Uh, let me go consult my gods one more time. That's fine. <laughs> Balaam decided to ask God a second time, even though God had already said no. This time, God told Balaam to go to the king. But God was angry with Balaam. Balaam saddled up his donkey and prepared for his journey to the king. Donkey. Donkey, come here. Here, donkey. Come, come on, donkey. Get, donkey, get over it. Come on. Get, get over her. Come on. Let's go. We have places to be. Let's go. As Balaam headed down the road with his donkey, oh, come on, come here, come an here. angel of the Lord appeared. I am an angel of the Lord. The angel was holding a sword and stood in the middle of the road. Now, Balaam did not see the angel, but the donkey did. The donkey ran off the road trying to get away from the angel. What are you doing? There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, let's get well, going. There's Balaam nothing. beat his donkey and tried to get it back on the road. But when the donkey saw the angel again, check out these moves. The donkey crushed Balaam against the wall and smashed his foot. Down, down, down my foot. So my Balaam foot. beat the donkey again. Uh, uh, Balaam tried to get the donkey uh, on the road, but this time going, the donkey laid going. down and refused to move. Oh, this is just ridiculous. What are you doing? There's nothing so going on. So Balaam beat the donkey uh, again. This is the big one. Uh, oh, wait, whoa, 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 buddy. Uh, why do you keep beating me? What have I done to deserve this? That's right. God gave that donkey the ability to speak. Uh, haven't I been your donkey for years? And have you ever seen me act this weird before? Well then, get a grip, buddy. Something is wrong here. God opened Balaam's eyes and he saw the angel holding the sword. <laughs> I'm an angel of the Lord. See, I told you. And the angel said to Balaam, It's a good thing your donkey sawed me and pulled away or you would be dead by now. You are so lucky you have me. I, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I, I'll go home right now. That whole King of Moab thing, we can just forget about it, all of it, please. Go and sing, see the king, but you will say exactly what I tell you to say. Got it, buddy. Oh, absolutely, I promise, cross my heart. Finally, Balaam reached the king. Oh, thank goodness, it's about time. Come here, oh, boy, do I have a job for you. Do you see all these Israelites? Curse them. <laughs> I, I, look, I, I can only say the things that God has told me yeah, to say. Yeah, 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 I, I, I need you. I brought you here for a purpose. Curse the Israelites. Okay, here yeah, you go. Yeah. I bless the Israelites. Wait, no, 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 what, what, that's not a curse? Try again. Curse the Israelites. Uh, I can only do what God has told me to do. Uh, uh, <laughs> Perhaps for the right price? Uh, no, 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 no. If God blesses them, I must bless them. I will not, I cannot curse them. Curse the Israelites. I bless the Israelites. Curse them. I bless curse the Israelites. Curse them. <laughs> Look, Balaam. I brought you here to curse these Israelites, and you have blessed them one, two, d d three times. Uh, uh, look, take a deep breath. Well, look, if you're not going to curse them, j just don't say anything at all. It's, Balaam, go home. Oh, but then Balaam had a message from King Balak straight from God about the future. I see him, but he's not near. I perceive him, but not yet. A, a star will come from Jacob. A scepter will arise from Israel. I, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Balaam was talking about Jesus. A star will come from Jacob. Yes, he saw the future when Jesus would be born. <laughs> exactly. Oh, good help is so hard to find. Maybe I can just order a curse off of Amazon. Prime only, come on. 
after Balaam said these things, he went home. Oh, God, thank goodness. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. The end. In today's story, Balaam got a glimpse of the future. A star will come from Jacob's family. A scepter will come from Israel. Now, a scepter. Who can tell me what a scepter oh, is? Oh, I totally know. Oh, pick me, pick me, pick me. Oh, call on me, please. Okay, uh, Tessa. A scepter is something a king holds. That's exactly right. And one day, Jesus will come back. And when he does... Oh! Every knee will bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. That's exactly right. Now, take a minute and answer this question. Thank you so much for joining us this week for Discovery Kids Online. While you're here, check out some of our other Bible story videos or tell God how awesome he is with some of our worship songs. We love you so much and we can't wait to see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.